Well, hello, everyone. This is the Vantage RM Video Update Service for the Markets here on Monday night. It is 9.06 as I update the video. One of the things that you'll quickly notice here from our technical strength indicator is that all of our trend indicators have gone back to sideways. You'll see that the corn is uh, on the verge of going into the bullish section, but hadn't quite got there yet. Uh, the soybeans have rallied all the way back from 20 up to around the 39% level. So they're uh, pretty close to going into the neutral area. Wheat not well, they're not quite there, and you can see the rice market also is not quite there. But still, these markets are registering as sideways with the wheat turning back sideways with the action that it's had over the past couple of days. Markets are mixed tonight. Let's go take a look. After the USDA report has come out, the markets have had some pretty good rallies. I mean, soybeans today were up uh, 46, 47 cents. They're down three here tonight, but uh, we're three cents off the low, six cents down off the high. You can see the corn market currently down three quarters of a cent, but a penny off the high and a penny and a quarter off the low. Uh, there's not much aggressive selling going on right here as uh, the bears really want to see how far the bulls will push this market before they uh, lay into it and try to, to sell it and find some results. Resistance. What will happen is this market should rally, find resistance, then go back down and see if it can find support. And once it finds that support level, then we're going to know really where we're at as far as a range goes and what the market's potential is from that particular point in time. Uh, this is kind of like, uh, I like to tell the story, if you remember when uh, you see a child run away from its parents, it, it'll only get so far, then it's going to turn around, then they'll turn around and come back and see where their parents are and then move back out. And that's kind of the way the market does, uh, or the market is, it moves away from where the real value is and then it turns around and comes back and when it comes back it shows us where the parents are or where the value is and that's kind of what we're looking for uh, when we look at these uh, at these markets and so uh, we're looking for the markets maybe to pull back they may not we may still see another up day here wouldn't surprise me a bit but um, we may see a little bit of a correction back as the market tries to find out exactly where the value is um, and uh, and see exactly what kind of trading activity occurs there. In the wheat market, you can see we're up two and three quarters cents tonight. The rice market up a half a cent, 58 contracts have traded three and a half off the low. Um, the rice market uh, testing that $15 level and the May contract down here at 1539. I'll talk about the rice in just a minute. Cotton's up 40, natural gas is up two. We think it might have a little bit more of a rally in it. April cattle is down 20 tonight. Outside markets, we've got the gold market up five. Dollars down 55 points, crude oils down 10 cents a barrel, and we're currently down six as far as the futures goes for the Dow Jones Industrials. We are going to start tonight with the March corn, currently down a half a cent. So let's go take a look at it here. And you can see as we look at the corn market, uh, trend indicator uh, absolutely rolling over, saying this is the low right here. Pretty much called it on the nail. Market has moved back up. And again, remember, after a market has a leg to the downside, and this is a a leg, it's, as you can see, it had uh, good strength in it, so we qualify that as a leg. Once you have a leg in it, the market has a tendency to uh, work sideways, and we think that's exactly what uh, the market could be doing here after this correction is uh, trying to find the upper side of its uh, res resistance in the range. Notice that the Bollinger Bands are trying to open up. That's a positive indicator, and if we can take out the high of uh, Monday, uh, the high that was made uh, today, many of you watching this, of course, on uh, Tuesday morning, but we're talking about the high at 7, uh, 26 and three quarters. So we'll say at 727. If we can break above that level, get above 737, 32, then we have the potential to actually turn this leg up, up and we could be uh, ready to have a small leg to find the upper side of this particular sideways range. We still think that uh, longer term here in the spring, we're going to probably see more upside potential in the corn market. As we look at the wheat market, because they're really connected, wheat's up a couple of cents tonight. You can see the wheat actually uh, came back. If I open up this uh, chart a little bit here for you so you can see it, you'll see that in today's session, the market got up to the 21-day moving average, and then it backed off of that, closing in the middle of the range. So tonight we're higher, but we still have not taken out the high for Monday. Now, remember, uh, for you new subscribers, you have, didn't have a chance to read uh, the comments that we wrote as much as two Two weeks ago, we began to write as right here as the market was breaking above the 35 level that we were within uh, seven or eight days of the market making a low. 
and uh, almost pretty well nailed it. Uh, just missed it by a couple of days with the Friday report being the day of the actual low. But um, the market uh, really followed perfectly with what the indicators were saying. We told you it had about an 80% chance of being correct. And there you can see that uh, the indicator topped. Now, that doesn't mean the market topped, obviously. The market made a bottom. But the indicator moves up, signaling that it is in a trend. And at that particular point, it turned over and moved back down. And we have another system that that kind of marries this system uh, together. In other words, it follows it and then has a, um, an, an actual connection to it. And it was the one that began to signal um, this uh, indicator that the timing was coming up for a, uh, a low, and uh, that's uh, that's where we got it from and, and how that system works. We do not show you that because that's a proprietary system, one of the three proprietary systems we really don't ever show. Um, can't show all our secrets, obviously, and uh, when we start talking about that, you will now remember when we start saying we are getting close to something happening, uh, you will understand uh, what we're talking about with that particular situation. Again, um, we're not sure where the wheat market's going to go, but we do know this. The wheat corn spread is something that everybody's going to be watching, as right now it is close enough that we are seeing wheat being fed. And uh, that's probably a good thing for the corn because there's no supply here left. So look for the wheat and corn to... Um, to not get too far apart from each other here over the next couple of weeks. Here's the soybeans, which had the big day up today. I'll open this up as well. But before I do, let me open it up this way. Look at that uh, strength of the trend making the top right at the 35 level and, uh, and, then, and then rolling over here. So we've had a, a good move to, um, uh, that was a leg to the downside that was really trying to get started. Uh, here you can see that leg down, but the market gave us a spike, turnaround reversed, big strong day up today. Um, we like this market. We think there's a good chance we're going to move towards the 1460 level over time. And uh, we are going to be using a rally here in the beans as a selling opportunity. But we think we're going to get a chance to do it um, at, at higher, certainly higher levels than where we are right now as far as the soybeans go. Go take a quick look at the rice market. Here's rice with the uh, chart open, and you can see the market has had this reversal to the downside today. Uh, this market's not really doing much of anything. The USDA report we thought was a little bit bearish. Um, the market is still trying to hook onto a, uh, say it's trying to establish a leg down. Frankly, we see the market as more sideways here. We don't think there's anything wrong for people who have sold rice, and you've got a good basis, if you're looking for that buyback, is to come in here and buy it against this level level of support. Um, we could be wrong in the market break down below that, but we really don't see what would cause that at this particular junction. Uh, there is some really uh, bullish uh, conditions uh, coming up in the rice on a longer term basis. So unless the USDA comes out and says we're going to increase rice acres a bunch, which uh, we don't think is what's going to be the case. Now, that may be what they actually say, but that's not what we think is going to be uh, at issue. What we believe is happening here is that the market's being pressed by the funds. They're the ones that are pushing it down, and at some point in time, they run out of selling power. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, again, remember, if you're, if you're not used to looking at this particular chart, what you're looking at is the net position if you sum up all the positions of either the commercials, the small specs, or the funds. And here are the funds. There are the blue lines. And the, because they're below zero, that indicates that they are selling the market. They are short. So they have sold this market down, and you can see that open interest, uh, as it has gone up, we have actually seen them take on a bigger and bigger short position, and they are getting close to this 3,000 uh, contract level in which they probably will be uh, at their position of short. Now, the one thing that needs to be looked at very, very closely here is that when you look at the open interest and you see how open interest declines right here, and yet the funds actually during this decline, this that green line that's right through here, look at their position, it actually got larger. That's because they have a tendency to spread positions and then take spreads off. Open interest has actually dropped the last several days, which we think is them taking off long positions and going more short. So we expect on Friday that when we get the new look of where they're at, and that will be based off of the close tomorrow, we're, we believe that we're going to see the funds getting very close to their net position of being short. If you look at this little um, move to the downside here, it's, at, it's out over the last 
four weeks. Let's go look at the last four weeks here. When you look at the last four weeks, you can see what has taken place here is the market has gone down. So as they have added to their position or gone short, they have been able to sell it off, but they've not been able to make new lows. We think they will not go much more than 3,000 contracts if they actually get that far. And then all of a sudden, we think that the commercials are going to say, well, that's enough, and probably start uh, uh, lifting uh, their uh, positions, which are along, uh, along the market. They're going to be in a position to go even longer, forcing the, uh, the uh, funds to start into a short covering play. So that's kind of what we're looking for here and why we think the market is probably safe at this point to be on the buy side. However, from a speculative standpoint, that means for anybody who is not buying back rice they have sold at a good basis level, this is not the game to play from a spec position. Uh, you have to let the market turn first uh, because as you can see here, we actually have an indicator pointing us that it may have a leg to the downside coming. If we make a new low here, it is not going to be a pretty sight because it's actually going to forecast this market to go down towards the 1425 to 1450 level in the March rice contract. So we're really not wanting to see that happen uh, being from the long side, but we'll have to adjust positions if we start to see that leg go down. I just don't see what would cause that. Um, uh, even with the funds as short as they are, they certainly can uh, hold on and have good winners here, but I'm just not sure that there's the fundamentals out there at this point in the rice to be able to push the market down uh, that far. A uh, couple other markets that I'll be through real quick. Here's the March cotton. Notice that it continues to be sideways. We have no changes in recommendations there. Here's the February natural gas. It's had a rally the last several days. We talked about this uh, when we wrote out our comments that we said this market is probably going to have a little bit of a bounce. And indeed, that's exactly what ha has happened here uh, in, the, in the natural gas. Um, in the cattle market, the April cattle uh, down 25 points tonight. Notice this move to the downside, but notice the hook reversal up today. We need to see some follow through back to the upside. If we can get that, then uh, we think that this is going to become a possible support level uh, for the live cattle. I think that'll do it for tonight's video. I'm a little bit long and I apologize for that. Hope you have a great day on Tuesday. We'll be back with a full update Tuesday night.